Finally, I'd like to take a moment to address the dangers of militant unionism. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have worked closely with the yeah, RMT right. union on the previous restructure of P&O. I have always found the union to be firm and constructive in the workers' interests, as am I. In light of that close working in the interests of my constituents, I was invited by RMT leaders to join a march in support of Dover's p and workers on Friday, which I did, along with the Conservative leader of Dover District Council and Conservative councillors, because we are united in getting those jobs back and doing right by the p and yeah, workers yeah, affected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, I found myself surrounded, bullied and abused by hard left militants it was clear that they were, were unelected bully boys seeking to drown out the voice of democratically elected representatives, me as the representative for Dover. It is the hallmark of the bad old days of the 1970s and 80s, and we must guard against that returning. I will not be intimidated from serving my community by odious hard left militants who thrive on division, nor will I be deflected from serving my community and my duty to represent the ferry workers. That's why we must all call out the behaviour of hard left militants. Yeah. It is not just me. The same hard left extremists also seek to bully my honourable friend, the member for Canterbury, Rosie Duffield, a Labour MP. Yeah, yeah. Bullying and physical intimidation is wrong, whoever it's done to, and we should call it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is why it is appalling that the Labour leadership have failed to address the bullying and intimidation of my honourable friend, the member for Canterbury, just as it is shameful that the Labour leadership and the shadow minister, who on her own account was present, has failed to tackle the bully boy tactics in relation to me. We need to be clear that the issue we are dealing with is bad business behaviour by P&O Ferries and DP Wells, and that is what we need to focus on and reverse. Our community in Dover has given decades of loyal support to P&O. Our country has given millions of pounds of support in furlough and other pandemic assistance. It is not too late for P&O to come to the table for discussions and do the right thing. For everyone's sake, including their own, I hope they do so now without delay, reinstate those jobs in Dover and come to the table and have discussions about the future. Yeah.